Hello grade 10s, today we're going to be looking at a general formula for working with linear patterns. Right, so the general rule for any linear number pattern is Tn equals Bn plus C. And that's where n is the term number, for instance the first term, the second term. Tn is the value of the term. B is the constant difference between the terms. You're going to have to know that off by heart. And also, C, you need to know that you calculate that by saying the first term minus the constant difference, T1 minus B. Right, how do we determine the general formula? Well, we first determine the values of B and C, and then we substitute these values into the formula. Let's try an example. Determine the general formula of the following sequence, 6, 9, 12, 15, etc. The first thing we need to do is we need to determine what the common difference is. So the difference between 6 and 9 is 3. And really how we determine that that's positive 3 is we said 9 minus 6. It's always a term minus the previous term. And the same thing over here, 12 minus 9 is equal to 3, 15 minus 12 is equal to 3. So B, our common difference, is 3. Secondly, we want to work out the value of C. Now C, we first find out what is T1. And then we say C is equal to T1 minus b, in other words, 6 minus the common difference of 3, which is 3. Now we're ready to substitute these into the formula. So our solution is that Tn is equal to b, which is 3n, and then c, which is plus 3. Our second example is determine the value of the nth term of the following sequence, 28, 22, 16, and 10. And the first thing we should notice is when they're asking us for the value of the nth term, that's just another way of saying what is the general formula or the general rule. So this question is the same as the last one. Let's first find our common difference. This time we have a sequence which is decreasing 28 minus 22, 16, 10. So our difference is not actually 6, it's negative 6. That's because we are really saying 22 minus 28. The term subtract the one before it to get the common difference. 16 minus 22 is negative 6. And 10 minus 16 is also negative 6. So that's our B value. Then to get the C value, we take T1. And we say C is equal to T minus, T1 minus B. Um, so it's 28 subtract negative 6 which gives us a value of 34. And then we can substitute these into the equation. The formula Tn equals B negative 6n plus C, so plus 34. Right, how do we calculate the value of a particular term? We're going to substitute the term number in place of n in the formula. Our example is calculate the value of the 90th term in example 1. So that was the pattern that went 6, 9, 12, 15. All right, so how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, remember that we already worked out what the general formula is in example 1. It's Tn equals 3n plus 3. So the 90th term means that n is 90. So that's what we're going to substitute into the formula. We're going to say T90 is equal to 
3 times 90 plus 3. That's 270. So the answer is 273 is the value of the 90th term. Right, now how do we calculate which term of the sequence a particular number is? We are going to substitute the number that we have in place of Tn and we are going to solve for n. Example 3, sorry, it's example 4. In the sequence 28, 22, 16, 10, that's actually example 2 that I'm reusing, which term is negative 104? All right, so remember, in example 2, we worked out the general formula is Tn equals negative 6n plus 34. So now we're going to substitute into the formula on this side. For, sub, for Tn, we're going to get substitute in our value of negative 104. And then we're going to solve for n. So I'm going to subtract 34 from both sides. And then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 6, which gives us an answer of 23. And what does that answer mean? It means that negative 104 is the 23rd term. Another kind of question you can get is how to calculate the first three terms in a sequence if you're given the formulas. It's really actually like um, example uh, three, but we're working out more than one term. And although it's the same, some people do get confused because the wording could be different. So all we're going to do is the same steps. We're going to substitute the term numbers, n1, n is 1, n is 2, n is 3, into the formula. So for example, we could get this question. Determine the first three terms of a linear number pattern whose nth term is determined by Tn equals 5n minus 7. That means our general formula is 5n minus 7. Right, so to solve this, we're just going to say, right, to work out what the first term is, I'm going to substitute n equals 1 into that formula. So 5 times 1 minus 7 is going to give me negative 2. For my second term, I'm going to substitute 5 times 2 minus 7, which gives me an answer of 3. And my third term, n is 3, 5 times 3 minus 7 gives me an answer of 8. Right, so what does that mean? The first three terms are negative 2, 3 and 8. Right, great tens. Now you can try exercise one on page 43. I've selected a few for you to do. A, 2, 7, 10 and 16 are calculating the general formula as well as 12 and 15 so that you can practice ones which contain fractions. Then B, C and D are practicing the other kind of questions you can get. And then for those of you who'd like to have a chance to shine, some extra work, um, E number one and two will challenge you to think a little bit out of the box. Good luck everyone and stay safe.